okay suppose you have this unit circle unit circle means the radius is the radius is 1 and you have three points on the circle a b and c you can choose any three points of course when you choose three points you automatically get a triangle ABC. The question is, the question, and this one came in ISI B stat entrance, is that which triangle has the largest possible area? Which triangle has largest area. Of course, you can inscribe many such triangles. Whenever you pick three points, whenever you pick three points, you will get a triangle. Essentially, this question is saying, what is the largest area triangle that you can fit in, in this circle? So we will try this problem today and we will learn a lot regarding trigonometry and use of calculus in geometry problems. If you like the, this sort of things, you can stay subscribed to this channel and like and share this video. Let's get started. So the first thing is, actually this problem has three parts. The first part, part one says, show that the area of this triangle, I'll write it like this box bracket and the delta sign inside. The area is half of sine 2a plus sine 2b plus sine 2c. This is the first part of this problem. Show that the area of the triangle is half of this. And actually, this part is really simple. Uh, just choose the center of the circle, O, and join OA, OB, and OC. Now, if you look carefully, if this angle is A, then this angle is 2A, right? This angle right here is 2A. Why is that? Because we have a theorem in geometry that angle at the center of a circle is twice the angle at the circumference. Angle at the center is twice the angle at the circumference. So this angle here is angle 2A, twice the angle A. Now the length of these two sides, OB and OC, are both 1, because this is a unit radius circle, and since O is the center, OB is the radius, OC is also the radius. So the area of this little triangle, let me shade it. We will use the trigonometric form of area formula. The area of this part is half of 1 times 1 times sine of 2a. Or simply half sine 2a. So if you're not familiar with the trigonometric form of area formula, I'll just quickly tell you that trig form of area. It says that if you have any triangle, let's say x, y, z, and if this angle is theta, then the area of this triangle is half of sine theta times the two sides containing theta, x, y, 
and xz. It's quite simple to prove this formula. It's not hard at all. What you do is you just drop a perpendicular from y like this. And this perpendicular, the height, is simply sine theta times xy. This is the height. And you multiply the height with half times the base. You will get the area of the triangle. So that's the trick form of the area. Okay, so you have this little triangle here whose area is half of sine 2a. This is actually a useful formula to keep in mind. It's a useful formula. Similarly, this triangle will be half of sine 2b and this triangle will be half of sine 2c. So the area of the entire triangle is half times sine 2a plus sine 2b plus sine 2c. Remember that this happens only in a unit radius circle. Otherwise, you will have, well, I'll give you this as a challenge. If the radius of the circle is r, can you find the general form of this area formula? Maybe you can find it. If you can, put it in the comment section. So that's the first part. The second part is this. Second part is this, that fix angle B. So this angle is fixed. And you can change, you can change angle A and angle C by of course changing the location of the point A and C. You are allowed to change, allowed to change A e and C, angle A e and angle C. Now we have to show that area is maximized, area is maximized. if angle A is equal to angle C. Okay, so if fixing angle B, if we let A and C change, we have to show that the area is maximized if angle A is equal to angle C. So to do this, we have to use something called the product formula. So what does the product formula say? It says that sine x plus sine y is equal to 2 times sine of x plus y by 2 cosine of x minus y by 2. This is a very important formula in trigonometry. If you don't know this, you can try to deduce it from the multiple angle formulas and other formulas that are available. So we will be directly using it here. So we already know that the area of the triangle is half of sine 2a plus sine 2b plus sine 2c. Right? We know all of these things to see. Now we also know that angle B is fixed, which means sine of 2B, we can treat it as a constant. We can treat it as a constant for the time being. And A and C are of course changing. So to maximize this area, to maximize this area, with sine 2b fixed, we must maximize sine 2a plus sine 2c. So, we maximize 
साइन टू ए प्लस साइन टू सी नाउ वी कैन यूज द प्रोडक्ट फॉर्मूला हियर इट्स लाइक द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन फॉर्मूला सो दिस इज टू टाइम्स साइन ऑफ टू ए प्लस टू सी बाई टू टाइम्स को साइन ऑफ टू ए माइनस टू सी बाई टू ओके सो दिस इज सिंपली टू साइन ऑफ ए प्लस सी को साइन ऑफ ए माइनस सी एंड वॉट इज ए प्लस सी ए प्लस सी इज सिंपली पाई माइनस बी राइट द टोटल एंगल ऑफ द ट्राइंगल वन एटी डिग्री और पाई प्रीडियंस माइनस बी सो दिस इज को साइन ऑफ ए माइनस सी नाउ आई रिमाइंड यू दैट एंगल बी इज फिक्सड so sin of pi minus b which is simply sin b is also fixed sin b is fixed because angle b is fixed so the only thing that's remaining that's varying is cosine of a minus c and we want to maximize it maximize this so what is the maximum value of cosine of a minus c well that is equal to 1 right cosine of a minus c is at most 1 cosine of anything is at most 1 and that happens at 0 degrees or 0 radians which means angle a must be equal to angle c if we want to maximize this hence we proved part 2 that the area is maximized if angle a is equal to angle c given that angle b is fixed okay so now what is the final area of this maximized triangle it's half of sin 2b plus twice sin b or if i simplify it further half of twice sin b cos b plus twice sin b which is simply sin b cos b plus sin b okay so this brings us to part 3 show that that the area is maximum when abc is equilateral okay so this is a very important step this can be done in many ways for fun i will be using calculus here it will also show you how to sort of mix and match calculus and geometry so i will define a function f of b which is sin b cos b plus sin b once i find the maxima of this function the maxima of this function that will give me when the area is maximum so all i need to find out is the maxima of this function because this is the maximized area when b is chosen when b is chosen we know that this is the maximized area angle a and angle c must be equal in the next step we will be choosing a specific b this is a subtle point you have to understand this in this next step we'll be choosing a specific b where this maximized area is maximum okay all right so what we will do is to find the maxima we will do the usual thing we will compute the first derivative 
So the first derivative is cos square b minus sine square b minus, uh, sorry, plus cosine b, which is cos 2b plus cos b. We want this to be zero to find the critical point. So cos 2b equals to negative cos b. This happens when b is equal to 60 degree. At 60 degree, cosine b is half and cosine 2b is negative half. So that matches up. Now we have to see whether at 60 degree it is maximized or not. So we have to find out f prime, f double prime b, which is negative sine 2b times 2 minus 2 sine b. So if you plug in 60 degree in place of b here, you will see that f prime, f double prime 60 degree is less than 0, which tells you at b equal to 60 degree, we have a local maxima, local maxima. Now, if b is 60 degree, of course, to maximize, once b is 60 degree, to maximize the area, we have to make a and c equal, which means a and c are also 60 degrees, so abc is an equilateral triangle. The one thing that you have to be careful here is that b equal to 60 degree gives you one local maxima. Are there other critical points? Maybe there are. And moreover, is this maxima maximum? Maxima may not be maximum. For example, we could have a situation, a, a graph like this, where this is a local maxima, this is a local maxima, but none of them are maximum. In this graph, the maximum is infinity. So we are interested in the maximum. This is a maxima. So what we have to do is we have to check all the maximas and also check the infinite situations and figure out what could be the value of the maximum. So this last portion, the last argument, it's really a one line argument. I want you to find out if there are other critical points and I, I want you to find out an argument why it is a maximum at 60 degree. All right. So give it a try. I hope you'll enjoy it. And I will see you in the next one.